Hey guys, Ryan here. It is uh, the Sunday morning after the World Arm Wrestling Federation Championships here in Antalya, Turkey. I'm still in Turkey, sitting on my balcony. We leave to come back to Canada in about uh, well, less than about half an hour. We got to head down for the shuttle. So I'll give you guys the quick recap. Now, as you know, I always I was setting this goal of four golds and I knew it was lofty and I knew it was going to be a, a tall order but here's what happened day one left arm masters came in competed well ended up taking a loss on fouls to Cody Merritt and uh, we um, what can I say you know they were calling everything really tight here and there was even some fouls that no one else seemed to see in the room except for the referees at the table. And uh, it almost became apparent that they were calling an elbow foul for rocking up on your forearm. Because that's what it seemed like to me anyway. Anyway, I lost that match. Came through the B-side. Beat uh, Oleg Melentiev a couple of times. Came off the B-side. Could not hit because every time it seemed like I hit the referee would call me on a foul. So instead, I just tried to contain Cody's hit and um, did that successfully. That being said, when the match stopped, Cody started jumping around on the pad and uh, you guessed it, he fouled out two matches in a row. So it was uh, no pins in that round, but I ended up taking the title, the gold medal, Cody second. Oleg Malentiev, third. Day two, going to the right arm, pulling really well. Beat Oleg Malentiev early in the day. Going to the A-side final against uh, Froda and ended up being in control of the match. But as I am pinning him, you guessed it, fouls. So I go to the B-side. Well, now I've got to face Oleg again. <clears throat> and to his credit, he adjusted quite well. Um, I believe we were referees, grips, straps. We each had a foul going into the final go. Ended up kind of pulling me over and kind of in a, a bit of a hook. And Oleg is holding on, I'm holding on. I move a little bit and the referee stops the match, calls me in a foul. So I go from A-side final down to the bronze medal. Oleg goes on, wins the whole thing. So congratulations to him. So right then, the, the four gold medal thing was out the window. But having to go down to the B-side <clears throat> was also part of the, not part of the plan. So I had to do a lot more arm wrestling than I normally would have. And now we're going on to day three, and my left arm is crazy sore. Oh, man. So we pulled my first match, no problem. Second match, Levon. Levon pops up. Ryan SP versus Levon. And uh, I go up there and we actually had a good match. I had uh, stopped him at just past center, opened up his, his wrist, and somewhere along the line, we each already had a foul. And we slip out. Well, instead of the referee calling Strap match, he says, foul, winner, Levon. So down to the B-side I go. And it's, uh, we're going through the B-side and uh, my arm's getting more and more sore. And then I pull a guy from Sweden and I felt like I couldn't do anything with him. He, this was the one match that I got pinned. So kudos to you. Um, and uh, forgive me because names over here, you know, lots of people haven't heard of me, but I haven't seen their name before either. So remembering when there's 24 guys in a, or 20, over 20 guys in a class is a tough thing to do. So I took a loss to Sweden and ended up out of it. Day four, I know it's going to be extremely hard because my arms are both screaming. My right arm was already sore, but I go in there, win some matches. Um, 
took a loss. Actually, my very first match, I lost on fouls. Very first match. And um, so I go up and I uh, start working my way through the B side. And um, I ended up in a match with uh, Ivan Matyushenko. And I knew I had no top row left at all with my right arm. So I, we went right into a hook and I felt good. He got called a foul, I got called a foul, and guess what? The, the last time, I pull him in a hook and I drag him over. And as I'm pinning him, another foul gets called and he's the winner. So, a few thoughts on that. Are the referees here strict? Yes. Do they sometimes see things that maybe aren't there? Maybe. But also, um, we're getting used to some pretty terrible refereeing in North America too. So when we come over here, maybe we didn't need to, maybe we need to work on keeping our elbows on the pad a little more because so many matches got decided on fouls. Um, it was a little bit nuts, but that being said, a lot of those elbows are coming off the back of the pad. So if you're starting to get used to the WAL pad, whereas there's an extra couple of inches there to pull your elbow, get away from that if you're planning on coming off and start using the conventional table. And plus the Mazarenko tables, there is no give to the elbow pad. It is a piece of rubber with a piece of vinyl on the top of it. Somebody might just got hmm. piece of rubber with a piece of vinyl over the top of it. They do not give it all. So you lift your elbow an eighth of an inch. Well, it separates from the pad an eighth of an inch. It uh, is comfortable to arm wrestle on, but it is no forgiveness when it comes to elbow fouls. And that's all I got to say, guys. Uh, I miss the world's. It's, it was a great tournament and a great time, and I love being a part of Team Canada. And I'm very proud of how all the guys and girls on my team and kids did. Amazing. And, you know, if uh, the boss says it's okay, maybe I'll come back next year. But, Victoria, I love you. I'll be home soon. Brooklyn and Jordan, I love you. I'll be home soon. And to all the people that supported me, all my sponsors... Uh, something special coming your way pretty soon. So we'll see you back in Canada.